Eh, so... <laughs> what do we want? What's going on? Uh... So recently, I've been out of the... The reading game. Right? I haven't been reading at all. I haven't been reading, reading at all, really. And, uh... Two days ago, was it yesterday? Two days ago, I decided, you know what? Let me get back into reading. Let me let me start doing that thing that I love to do so much. So I went to the bookstore, um, and I browsed around for quite a, a little bit, um, and I decided, you know, I've I've been reading a little bit too many classics, so I just want to try something more modern, you know. So. This book. This book, right? And I immediately fell in love with the texture, with the text, with the way it's formatted. I just love the way that looks, right? And I, and I, this, the, the, the front doesn't really give you much information, right? So I turned around. I turned it around, and I recognized the face that I saw. If it'll focus. Are you focus? If you guys don't know that man, that man is Logic. The rapper. He, he, he's... Apparently he's got African American in him. I don't know if it's African American. He, he's part black. And that's kind of... That's kind of part of his thing. Being like part black. <laughs> Like if you know logic, then you know like, do not look at my crusty nails. Oh my god, I did. Mm, 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 I don't know what's going on now, but like part of his thing is being part black. And I don't listen to logic's music, but you know I listen to one zero eight hundred whatever. You know that song that came out like two thousand eighteen, where it's like, who can relate? Yeah, that was him. Apparently, he's also an author. I don't know. I have much faith, but I was like, I was like, you know what? This might just be what I need to get back in the game. Uh, this might just be what takes me out of the game completely. I've read um thirty or so pages, forty, almost fifty pages now, and it's giving exactly what I expected. Uh, I was like, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like a, a man a man does things and that's basically it but i didn't expect the unrealistic writing do you know what i mean um I, i'm reading it and i'm just constantly taken out of it because i'm like no no <laughs> actually no like the, the stuff that happens in this book is just like no that wouldn't happen it's kind of like the, I, 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 t I told the bully what was what, and the whole class clapped. Like, yeah, another thing that didn't happen. You know, like, I'm just like, no, they didn't hit me. Oh, my God. Stereotypical older rich white woman with leathery skin with a little dog that, sh that kisses her and, like, licks her mouth. Yeah, yeah, can you be any less creative? Apparently she is she is sitting in his seat because she is supposed to be in first class <laughs> and she's not moving. And apparently they get the captain to handle the situation and everybody clapped. No, they didn't. That didn't happen. You're just no, no. <laughs> Like, one star. One star. Y'all are not gonna believe this, but, um... I literally gave up on reading that book. Because cause the, the book made me realize how I want to be treated. What I deserve. And, and I deserve better. And I knew better. And better was East of Eden by John Steinbeck. So I went back to reading it, and then we took a little 
impromptu trip to um, the coast because you know it was getting a little too hot here in the city and, and yeah we just decided we, we gotta go and I got this new lip balm look how shiny it is mm. the first thing we did was check into the hotel and then the second thing we did was go straight to the beach but this this ocean a little bit racist because every time we would get closer to have like our feet like be in the water or whatever it would literally back away there's my brother he's scared of the ocean he doesn't know how to swim i don't know how to swim either so i don't know like i don't know but anyways here's my sister trying to hold my hand because because i knew she was trying to hold me like if i was trying to run away i knew she was gonna try and hold me hostage so i held on to it and whatever i was like wow i'm a thug i'm a thug let's get it going and then oh my god y'all this water was so cold it was like ice cold yeah you see her clutching me I'm trying to I'm trying to get her to let me go. She clutching me. But here, oh my god, here come the waves. It was so cold. Yeah, you see me running. You see me running. That hurt so bad. Oh my god. After the beach, we decided to hit up the National Marine Aquarium. It's literally less than two minute walk away from the beach side. Oh, here's a what's this called? Oh, it's a string uh a stingray and it's literally so big it was all alone in that tank i was like oh my god this is for steve Irwin. um what am i doing this camera work is so shoddy girl get it together no i mm -mm. after the string ray we looked around this is apparently like some sort of rock sucking fish Ugh, isn't its little foot like gross um yeah he's weird looking but like fine whatever here were like some slugs there's a a, a couple of them and i was like like imagine how squishy that little oh my god oh this little fish tank this one had a lot going on for you know and i like the little activity the, there's like anemones and stuff the the, the blue things you see and then like the seaweed like for me it's giving very much h2o Cleo, you know all that oh this little guy um my sister was making fun of him for like being ugly i didn't see his face at first she was like she was like oh he got nice color but like his face yikes have you guys ever seen a pelican before because it's uh, like in real life i'm sure you guys have seen like videos of a pelican eating a fish and it's literally like the most horrifying thing i've ever seen personally but this thing is literally almost the same size as me and i'm like average person sized and it was it was damn near meeting my me in my face you know what i mean Ugh, i don't like these guys and here are some nice little graphics I thought you guys might enjoy. Some, ooh, ugh, crabs scare me. I think anything like with too many legs is a no-no for me. Then we went upstairs. Look at that view, y'all. Oh my god, there's me. Fit check, fit check. Um, yeah, it's just really beautiful. And of course, everyone is begging me to take pictures of them. So. I gotta start getting paid for all these pictures, bro. I'm gonna have to start charging for them. And then of course, Goody had to get into the kitty ride and um, I was lucky hoping she would get stuck. <laughs> um, but there wasn't too much up here. It's just a, the, a big old tank and it smelled real bad. Um, and I, yeah, you can imagine. Oh, then, then there was another stingray and it was like, it came out. Ugh, it like, look at it. Ugh, it, whatever, man. Uh, warning, warning, warning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's nice. After the aquarium, we went to the snake exhibit, and then we ran into this little old tortoise. He doesn't even look that old. You, I feel like you can tell a tortoise's age by how skinny their legs are, and these legs are pretty tiny. He's looking very Jurassic. Uh, oh my god, yeah, they had a black mamba. One of the deadliest snakes in the world, and they just had it chilling. Look how shiny. Uh, and like its eyes are black too. I bet its mouth was black Hi. too. And then there was like a tiny little baby tortoise, but my camera wouldn't focus. Oh, you can actually see him. Okay. But I don't know why we took my sister, because she is deathly afraid of snakes. Look at her. She's trying to get away. She's trying to push him out of the way. The snake was looking at us, bruh. Oh, these two? You, I didn't actually tell that there was two of them until like I got hella close. But those two are in love. You cannot convince me otherwise. These ones are less deadly. 
but overall it was a pretty good experience um i would definitely go back if you're in the swag up area i highly recommend you go to the snake exhibit i don't actually know what it's called i didn't get the business card or anything i didn't look at the business establishment's name which maybe was a mistake but it was pretty nice um they had a bunch of snakes and like i think 90 percent of them were venomous after that we went okay where you, you, you do you dudes. there's the clown uh not much interesting to happen all you need to know is i was the slowest one and they left me half the time i couldn't even see them they were going so fast i was literally in the back fighting for my life i almost flipped over my my quad bike and and wasn't nobody there for me okay and then we went out had some dinner gosh what a busy day this was actually no wonder i'm so sore yeah he's having pop and cabana and fed cooks so is he because you know he's he, he's he's his son not really and just a Nicki minaj reference um cabana is just like strips of meat that you cook on a grill but they were complaining because it's not really how you're supposed to enjoy them like a, a strange man is supposed to grill them in front of you who you're not even sure like when was the last time he showered and you don't care because it tastes good so whatever whatever and i had some spaghetti bolognese and of course goody ordered some so because she had so mm. <laughs> was there an a I mean, you can enjoy a little bit of us playing cards so i'm gonna just leave you to it Burp already. Did you feel this fight? It's <laughs> seven. Like AM. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it my turn? Yes. Take a call. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what was that? I went. Baby and daddy, I have a more to go. <laughs> It's very annoying. <laughs> I just didn't know what it was, Gertie. <laughs> Too much. Take it. Yeah, just want to get it on. Take me winning again. Of course, here I am. I was the first one dressed, fully dressed. Everyone was taking a shower, whatever, whatnot. And I'm the main character, just reading a book, enjoying some literature, having a coffee, right before getting into the busy activities of the day. Look at that. Bitches wanna be like me, bro. They do. And then we went on a cruise, like a, a tour for like a couple of hours. Oh my God. It was really, really nice. There's Goody, of course. Y'all remember the pelicans I mentioned earlier? Yeah, they, uh, this one kept staring at my soul. I swear to God, bro. But they were like, they were like nice or whatever. Like they were birds. You know, birds are kind of psychotic. Birds are not souls. And there's this, this, this guy's like a rescuer or whatever. He had, you see that little scar around his neck. He was like caught in a fishing line or something. White people ain't scared of nothing, bro. Look at this guy just chilling. And then with lunch, there was like oysters. And this is like my first time eating one. It's coming now. Oh, she's already on there. It was like a. It's very soft. It's like a lot. I had to chew it a little bit. And then we went to the upper deck to have main character moments with the captain. He was actually right behind us, you know. And I would like to remind everyone the legal drinking age in Namibia is 18 and I'm 20 years old. So I am allowed to have that drink I'm drinking. Shit was mid, not gonna lie. Shit was
was made, I was not very impressed with the snacks that I had on the road here. I have no idea what this video was, but uh, I hope you had fun watching it. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, and if we don't see each other before the year's out, I want to say thank you so much for watching my videos this year and have a safe and happy holiday. Ah.